Listen, my grandma works at Leyland Motors, and when you asked him why did he work there, and why in the 1940s and 50s most people went to work, what did he go to work for? He had a little phrase, I go to work to put food, yeah, food on the table and a roof over my head. Now do you think for one minute my granddad, who was a painter, had studied Maslow? No chance. But I'll tell you what, on a deep human level he understood the psychological contract that he had with Leyland Motors. Food on the table and a roof over my head. He even put me in the right order. He, didn't, he, never said, he never said roof and food, he always said it in the order that Maslow wrote it. Unbelievable. That is what basic work is about for a lot of people. Every time I run this, say I'm running this session in Rolls Royce, and I've got a guy, who's a person whose department is 400 people, I'll say, what percentage of your people are in there? Below, and all I'm asking to do is do two things, above and below the line, that line. And I'll regularly get 40% of people below the line, just ticking the box. Just coming up, doing enough, not doing enough to get sacked, they're not stupid, just doing enough to not get the sack. Imagine that. One of our clients is British Nuclear Fuels. That's pretty scary. Anybody studies Southwest Airlines? If you go for an interview to be a pilot at Southwest Airlines, the world's best airline by a country mile, you have to go wearing boxer shorts. You can wear a, you can wear a, a suit and a jacket and a tie and shoes and socks, but no trousers. Now, what does, that, what does that tell you about their culture? If you're a pilot in there, what's your job going to be like? What do we want apart from you flying the plane and landing it? You can work it out, can't you? What do we want, what, what do we want of a pilot who wants to be a stuffed shirt and not talk to anybody? What's he going to do when he gets his interview letter saying, please wear your boxer shorts and nothing else? What's he going to do? You're not going to come. Excellent. Just saved us a few hours there. Do you understand the point? Saved us a few hours. I was once in Atlanta, flying Southwest Airlines. There was lightning and thunder all over. There was thunder all over the place. And we were going to Philadelphia. And, and, the, and, the, and this, the pilot walked through. And somebody said to him, uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Pilot, sir, can you get us to Philly? And he said, of course I can, madam. I'll get you to Philly tonight. Don't you worry about that. And he had, this is the pilot, a World War I flying jacket on with a leather collar. <laughs> A World War I flying helmet on his head with goggles. You went, that's a pilot.